After listening to one of my viewers or subscribers, I changed my setup a little. And the question was, why are you using two push mowers? I'll try to answer. Guys, just like to uh, comment and make a point on one of the comments that was made on one of my videos. Um, I think it was on the setup video. But the uh, viewer and the, I don't know if it's a subscriber or not, he asked uh, a question. He said, why do you carry two push mowers? Well, you know, the first reaction when someone asks you a question is you want to respond. And, and normally your response in your head, uh, sometimes it's negative. You know, it's like, well, why not? They're mine. Uh, I want to carry two. But I, I did respond. But I've been thinking about it ever since um, the question was posed. Why was I carrying two push moves? So I had to ask myself, to be honest. And I looked back over it. I had been doing it so long with a, um, you know, coming from a riding tractor. Um, a lot of times, you know, you use a push mower at just about every yard. So I was getting a lot of use out of them, and I wear them out the most. They take the biggest of the uh, punishment. So just out of force of a uh, habit, I said once I got a trailer large enough, I would always carry two. So that's what I did all of last year, for the last two years. So I thought about it, and I said, well, do I really need to carry two push mowers? So I, for the last two weeks, I've um, just tried some things differently uh, with the trimmer, uh, zero turn, and one push mower. And I, I believe he also said, doesn't it take extra time? And he was right, because the only way I could get two push mowers on the trailer was I had to adjust the handles upright. So it did take additional time. So I just wanted to say all comments, although the first impression, we may interpret it to be negative or uh, derogative or uh, offensive, but sometimes it's constructive. And I want to thank that commenter um, for the comment because it made me raise a serious question that has turned out to be beneficial for me. Okay? Thank you. And last but not least, hey guys, this is when the rubber hits the road. When you walk out the door, sometimes it's in the 90s. When you end up, it could very well be in the hundreds. This is where sometimes I get a lot of people that start off in April and May. Don't see them around July, August, and September. So this is where how shall I say, I don't want to say uh, separates the boys from the men, because hey, we have some ladies in here that's doing it just as well. But this is a true test. Take care, till the next time.